Thomas Kraft. He's going to fire. He's got a gun. Got first oh. shot right to today. Mika Radicalio, and here come the fish. Looks like some, looks like somebody's been fishing, Richard. Somebody's been ice fishing. Good hard shot by Kraft. Give him a great assist because he shot that so hard, Bach couldn't handle it. Good hard shot goes right off of his chest. Mika goes short side high, top shelf. Two to one hockey game. Anchorage is an extraordinary community. It has a special hockey community with a distinctive story of exceptional success wrapped in a proud heritage. To a great extent, the story of Anchorage hockey heritage and success was and is built on the legacy of University of Alaska Anchorage Seawolves hockey. From its birth in 1979, Seawolves hockey graduated numerous coaches into youth hockey programs. In a relatively short period of time, Anchorage teams were winning national championships and launching players into the highest levels of North America's most prestigious junior leagues, college programs, USA hockey, and NHL rosters. Aside from Seawolves players reaching the highest levels of play and winning Stanley Cups, each and every year since the program's inception, a new crop of former Seawolf players become coaches, leaders in the community, and they make Anchorage their home. Seawolves alumni have continued to lead for the past 40 years, turning Anchorage hockey into one of U.S. hockey's crown jewels. During this time, hockey has become one of Alaska's great exports to the hockey world. It's one of the faces of Alaska and UAA to the lower 48 and Canada. Now one of Alaska's and UAA's brightest and best brand ambassadors, Seawolves Hockey, is approaching extinction without immediate action. Seawolves Hockey was defunded by choice. UAA's former chancellor recommended that UAA's Board of Regents cut hockey and other athletic funding as opposed to trimming and finding cost efficiencies in the UAA budget in equal proportions for all operations, academic, and athletic departments. The time is now for action to save Seawolves hockey. Great athletic programs are built on the collaboration of community, university administration, and alumni. Alumni are an integral part of successful and dynamic universities, specifically in athletics. Giving back to the school and the community that once supported our time on the ice is the cycle of our athletic life. For us, the Seawolves hockey alumni, it is not only the time, but it is our responsibility to be active, resetting the foundation, standards, and expectations for the next 20 years of our hockey program. Great colleges and their sports programs, facilities, and amenities are infused and lifted up with the generous gifts of a grateful and proud alumni. A statement and thank you for an opportunity provided by an institution that was integral in positioning and preparing us for a fulfilling life. To many, it is important to leave a legacy greater than oneself, yet eternally part of each of us and for our families to connect with the story of our lives to know us better. Athletics tells the stories of our lives so well. Think about Notre Dame's Ice Arena or the Ralph in North Dakota. These iconic college hockey arenas are a symbol built on the treasure and goodwill of hockey support not taxpayers. Going forward, the ask and the giving will not go away, nor should it. Over time, as alumni, we will go after the current and urgent need to fund the foundation and 
very survival of the Sea Wolves hockey program. Once accomplished, we will transition our energy towards funding facilities and enhancements at UAA, thus fueling the success of Sea Wolves hockey and the university. Here is a message from former player and alumni member Rick Ellison. So going forward, the ask and the give really isn't going to go away. This is the time where it said we need to set the foundation and help the very program survive. But after that, we'll transition. We'll transition towards fueling the next 40 years of UA hockey. In the past, decisions were made that negatively impacted athletics in general and the hockey program in particular. However, there is relief in knowing that those who made these choices are gone. With this in mind, it is necessary to move beyond the past and step forward with distinction. 2021 is the new beginning for Seawolves hockey. As supporters, we have an opportunity to wash away the disappointments of past leadership and build a program of excellence again, like 1979, from the ground up. Together, we'll strive to do things the right way in a manner that will benefit the Sea Wolves hockey program, the good of Anchorage hockey, and UAA. A new chancellor that is supportive of hockey and athletics is coming on board. This chancellor will work side by side with the athletic director, alumni, the hockey community, as well as the business community to not only sustain Sea Wolves hockey, but to help hockey thrive. Here is a message from Vice Admiral Mike McCabe, United States Navy, retired. Greetings. 2021 represents a new beginning for University of Alaska Sea Wolf Hockey. Supporters from the Sea Wolf Hockey alumni, from all levels of university leadership, the business community, visionary public officials, and the hockey community in Alaska have come together to try to do the right thing to support the Sea Wolf Hockey program. It needs your help. Hi, I'm Mike McCabe, former Navy Admiral, former Top Gun instructor, but more importantly, my wife comes from the Alaska University teaching community and the Alaska Public School District. My son attended a hockey game there when he was only four and ultimately played for the Sea Wolves. We've been around the country, seen a lot of world-class teams, been part of them, helped develop them, and I can tell you that the benefits to the community, to the university, to the young people involved with it uh, are immense. And I would ask that you look forward to and support this program going forward. Thank you. A group of alumni, boosters, and business leaders have launched a comprehensive business strategy to make saving SeaWorld hockey a reality. This business plan has active committees leading in areas such as legal, marketing, social media, ticketing, and facilities. Importantly, there's a political action committee working with key Alaskan politicians and influential business leaders to solidify long-term funding and support of hockey at the state level. We all know it is imperative Anchorage and the state of Alaska support UAA hockey as an investment in the quality of life at UAA, the Anchorage Bowl, and the 49th state. A Division I program cannot be operated on a shoestring budget. It is important to know, as the Alaska State Legislature is not in session at this time, a political solution is not available to save Seawolf hockey by February 15, 2021. As supporters, we have to find a financial bridge for the future of UAA hockey. Engaging with our political leaders is ongoing, but it is not the next step in this journey. All of the above efforts and initiatives are in place to not just simply fund hockey for two years, but to keep hockey viable and thriving at UAA beyond the next 10 years.